Sting have an eye for every player profile, a brand to be trusted with a loyal following. The G Ranger Club says one thing to me. Forgiveness in an iron that seems to suit any and every golfer. But is the G425 the next go-to iron for all you ping lovers out there? Let's kick this review off with some brutal conditions down on the links at Conway. camera be nice get in right well, the first thing i want to report is there was no hole in one but what they did do is they got off to a great start out on the course at conway and as you can see it was pretty tough conditions uh, that these were at their test um but what i've ping done in terms of this new model uh don't forget predecessor g410 how has this moved on well it's a slightly more compact design they say it is more forgiving. They say there's faster ball speeds, all those things we, we come to expect. Uh, metal wood-like design face, which I find uh, really interesting. But for me, one of the big things, like I said, with the driver is overall looks and appearance of the club has been toned down. There's no color in the sort of black and chrome look. I think it's really easy on the eye, got plenty of shelf appeal. But what I've done, I've collected dry ball data already indoors on Trackman. I'm just gonna hit a few shots out here off the turf, remind myself, familiarize myself about the sound and acoustics of this thing, um, because it's quite different from a windy day that we found ourselves down here at Conway. So that's up next. A little bit of a shot with a bit of feel. So nine iron, again, looking for some kind of response from the club, this short end of the bag. Quite a nice clip. That's not too bad. That's the last ball I've hit outside and probably whatever it was, half a dozen balls. And I think the one thing that I wanted confirmation on is the metal wood-like design on the face. And I think when I say confirmation on, I still have a little bit of an issue with the sound. And that's because I don't really want my irons to sound like a metal wood. Um, I don't know why I don't. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that. But for me, I want my woods to sound like woods. And I want irons to feel a little bit softer. I want them to be a bit more responsive. And that's a bit of a, a bit of an issue for me. Like I said, metal wood designed like face. I'm not really sure the logic in that or why you would want to achieve that in irons. That's got me beat a bit. And it's definitely noticeable, definitely noticeable. And for me, it's a big deal. As you know, I like, I like soft feeding irons. Uh, sound is a big deal and uh, I don't know whether you can pick that up, but it's just a little bit too harsh still on these irons for me on a personal level. Right, well, if sound is the only fault that I can find with this irons, then uh, with these irons, then Ping are doing pretty well. And I've got to say, spoiler alert, it pretty much is, and it's a minor detail as well, and very much um, dependent on what you're looking for from a golf club. And as you know, uh, I said in the, uh, the earlier clip, it's a big deal for me. I will say, say, however, that it's a vast improvement on what the G410 was, because again, I criticise that from its hard sound, and it has moved on a fair bit from there. But moving on in terms of everything else that the golf club does, it just does everything very, very well. Um, these are, as I said in the intro, um, they're kind of a, they're, they're very dependable, you can't really go wrong. There's no mistakes you can make in buying a set of Ping G irons. They've always been um, 
very good at what they intend to do and that's make the game um, or the clubs are user friendly, make the game very enjoyable, uh, as forgiving as you could possibly get in terms of irons. They just do all of that very, very well. One of the things that you would have struggled with in previous years with this type of iron was things like spin. So we're gonna go into the detail of the data and start off with the seven iron, which is what you see in front of you now. <clears throat> An average swing speed of 80.5, that's not the fastest I would swing a seven iron, but again, it just, this tells a tale. Uh, 6,000 almost in spin, launching at 17.4, peak height of 99 feet, ball speed 121, land angle really important, 47.9, carrying 171. What else can we get from an iron? I mean, to me, that is optimum performance. There is not one box within there that I would look at sort of changing. Um, it really is incredible. They've performed so well, and then move on to the five iron, uh, which I gathered some data for as well. And you will see uh, along the shaft, a bit more club head speed, 84, four, three spin off a five iron, uh, off a game improvement, five iron, incredible, 14, one launch, peak height 90. Still a land angle of 43, um, 193 carry. Honestly, unbelievable in terms of the performance. They really did well both on and off course in terms of uh, dry ball data. Um, what I would say case in point there is that um, whilst they're not really strong lofted um, in terms of what we're seeing right now, uh, you can uh, adjust those. I think it's two degrees either way in terms of their retrofit um, and they're stronger. I, uh, I can't remember what they, or the other name they, they call it, but you can strengthen them further. For me, 193 carry on a five iron would mean that that's probably as long as I would go with an iron. And I think more so in this range that I've seen um, is this need for golfers to look at getting custom fit. It's always the message. In the, but the reason I say it with this, if I was going and buying off the shelf a sort of traditional pitching wedge to four iron set, I would have an issue because if that's going 193 in theory, although we do lose a bit of, uh, or we, we struggle to generate the club head speed to get that extra yardage out of four irons, uh, in theory we're going over that, tipping over that 200 mark. But what I would say, I would even be tempted to look at pitching wedge to six iron in my case and look at some of the G425 other options in terms of hybrids and fairway woods, of which there are many. I've got some interesting videos coming up in the next couple of days. We'll show you uh, just what they have on offer uh, in addition and to, the, to the irons, to the G425 iron range, where I think the idea of blending um, hybrids and fairways into this mix is, is a real good option. And I think that, uh, again, that message, and I know it's always Ping's message, is get custom fit. Start really analysing that data. And when you're getting down to possibly six iron, five iron, then maybe look at mixing this up. But we're talking about irons today. So I'm gonna leave it there. There's not a lot else for me to say. I think they've done a great job in terms of visually, the looks are fantastic. They've made it more compact. It's forgiving. Yes, the negative for me would be that harsh sound, but it's not gonna be for everybody. But the numbers, the data, the overall performance is second to none. And for a game improvement iron, incredible stats. It really is impressive. That is it, that's the, uh, so I think we should be second one in. You've seen the driver from the 425, now you've seen the irons. Uh, next up, it's gonna be an interesting video, like I said, because I'm looking at what else G425 is offering in its range. And believe me, there's one particular club in that range which throws up, it's incredible. And I think it should be in every golfer's golf bag. That's how good I think it is. And I also think it will blend perfect in with those irons. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. If you've uh, enjoyed today's video, then please um, hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you don't already. There's plenty of reviews that you will see uh, either prior or post this, which will mainly be from professional golfers who do a fantastic job of reviewing product. This is a slightly different angle. It comes from very much an average golfer and maybe some of the club head speeds and the performance will be uh, a bit more similar to your own. Uh, that's what we try and do on this channel. So uh, yeah, subscribe if you can and put comments down below. What are you thinking of this G425 range so far? I love to hear from you. Uh, so please yeah, get involved. That's me, I'm done. I'll see you all soon.